Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and I'm back for another toy review of the new week. It's Sunday, people, and today we got a real special treat. We'll be reviewing my Robots in Disguise 2015 Blur, which I got as at the Monroeville Exchange for only 10 bucks. So I'm glad to finally have this one. I still am looking for the rest of the 2015 Robots in Disguise figures. But I got Blur. So yeah. I want to get Optimus, I want to get Ratchet, Jazz, and Sideswipe. But this is based on the Transformers Rescue Bots cartoon, since he appeared in his first episode in Robots in Disguise. Is, this is the exact sign for Rescue Bots. Blur. Which I do not own. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons. And this figure is from 2015. So roughly seven years ago this figure came out in. And it's so much fun and pretty good. If I do say so myself. Here is a Transformers Rescue Bots Bumblebee. Next to this Robots in the Skies 2015 Blur. Heat Wave next to this 2015 Robots in Disguise Blur. Boulder as well next to the figure. Chase next to that figure. And of course, Optimus Prime. And now we get down to some robot mode compare, some other comparisons before we. Get on to the robot mode. Here is 2015 Windblade. 2015 Bumblebee. Because I own those. Why not? But now we're going to get down to transforming this toy. Oh, I forgot about some other comparisons we're going to do. Just because this reminds me of the 1986 design as well. Here's Grimlock. Blaster, Bumblebee, Sp Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper, and of course Spike or Daniel if you want to be specific. Now we can get down to Transformation, which is going to be very simple. We're going to disconnect the gun I gave him. Disconnect this section right here, which is a very important step. Ooh, pop the arm out of the socket. It tends to happen on my copy. Now we're going to rotate this down and around. And we popped off the head, which does real easily. We pop the head off with these. And we pull out the feet, like so. Flip these up here. And the last foot we're going to flip down is right here. So a very simple transformation for this 2015 Robots in Disguise figure, if I do say so myself. The head sculpt and body on this figure is really good and really faithful to the Transformers Rescue Bots figure and the Robots in Disguise figure. I love it. But yeah, good looking robot mode. Really well sculpted, really well painted. It does have some light piping. But I can't make that work on camera. Sorry about that. Articulation on this figure. Bend at the knee. Knee, ankle tilt, no, no ankle tilt, but 
You move the foot around. That's pretty cool. Arms can do a full rotation. Head is on a ball joint. Love that. Second arm, full rotation. But otherwise, a good looking figure. And I'm just so glad to add this to my Transformers collection. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons in robot mode. Here we have Robots in Disguise 2015 Blur based on the Rescue Bots design with Optimus. With Bumblebee. And Blur just decided he was going to fall over. Heat Wave. Chase. And Boulder. If I can get him to transform on camera. And here we got Boulder. And that's my Rescue Bots comparisons for this video. And quite a few Rescue Bots comparisons. Why not? Now we get down to the Robots in Disguise 2015 comparisons. Deluxes. And yeah, so far, these are easy figures to transform, and I've got had them for a long time. And I dropped Windblade's sword and body, my bad, really... Trying to get this done on camera, and her wing popped loose, and now I gotta go pop the wing back in the socket. There we go. Good as new. Dropped her blade. Why can't she just hold her blade and not fall over? I can't get her to hold the scabber very well either. But here we got Robots in Disguise 2015. Windblade next to Blur. Not a bad comparison if I do say so myself. And now we're going to transform Bumblebee and do that comparison. And then we got a whole set of comparisons. We're going to dig out of the last thing I got for comparisons, just because these are based on 1986. It's almost close to the 1986 design. So I dug out my 1986 bots. Here's 2015 Bumblebee, if I do say so myself. And of course, Robots in Disguise 2015 Sideswipe. And that's my Robots in Disguise Autobot collection of 12 inch figures. Not 12 inch, but close enough to the big scale figures. And sorry about that alarm, I'll deal with that in a second. But we got one more comparison to show off before we end this video. And this is why 
I bought this because I don't have the 1986 Transformers Blur yet from Studio Series or any other line. But he's a nice fill-in so I get a better blur. Here is my Grimlock. That's filling in for my 1986 Grimlock. And I'll transform Blaster. That's going to annoy me unless I go turn it off. So pardon me while I go turn that off. and then I gotta go take care of them. And I got Blaster's transformation memorized because I messed around with it so many times. So here is Robots in the Skies 2015 Blur next to my blaster with RC. The reason I gave him that blaster because it's close to the 1986 blaster. Titan's Return, Hot Rod, and Grimlock just fell over. Sometimes these figures just don't want to stand up. And Blur just decided he was going to fall over now, too. And we got Ultra Magnus. Here's Bumblebee, because he was in the 1986 movie. And of course, Cliff Jumper, because he was in the 1986 movie. And of course, Spike and Ramhorn. And this is my Transformers 1986 collection next to 2015 Blur. Until I get a better Blur to fill in for the 1986 Transformers movie collection, I will be holding on to Blur in my 1986 Transformers collection. Is this 2015 Robots in Disguise Blur worth picking up? I'd say yes. He is fun to mess around with, fun to transform, and easy to transform. I love this figure. It's a good-looking figure. And I only paid 10 bucks for this thing. And it's so much fun to transform and mess around with. This is going to be a part of my collection for a very long time. But before we end this video, we're going to show off what we're going to do next week. Because... You all deserve to know what I'm going to do starting Tuesday of this week. So next on the list, we'll be reviewing Transformers Cyber Battalion 2018 Shockwave. And yes, I got Shockwave now. And that's all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. 
moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.